Well, everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. I wanted to look at the accelerator investments and kind of go over some numbers because um, I think they're kind of interesting. And I have an idea for Aptera. Maybe they'll uh, uh, decide to go with my idea or not. I hope they do because I think it's a good idea. But uh, let's talk about it. Okay. So if we look at the Aptera leaderboard, RP from Maryland is still in number one at a million dollars. It does not look like he's going to be, or she, is going to be dethroned anytime soon. And then it drops to 400,000 at number two, uh, KW from Germany. And then, then uh, it drops another 10,000 at 421K um, to GZ. And then it drops off. So, you know, obviously, number one, you're, you're, you're number one. That's like the most coveted number two, smallest prime number three. That's the number of wheels that Aptera has and is the is like a tripod. It's the it's the least number of points that uh, forms a stable base. Four is an unlucky number in Chinese, uh, but uh, is a lucky number in other cultures. Five is like the number of digits we have. And, you know, there's a lot of, it's like the first uh, safe prime. Um, six. And then seven. Seven has a lot of uh, meaning in like Christian and Islam. Eight is a, considered a lucky number in Chinese. Nine in, uh, San, in, in uh, India is considered... Um, a number of completeness because it starts starts the uh, decimal system over again and then 10 obviously is uh the base of the number system that most people use and then we go down here um we're still sitting at 18. you know there's a lot of other numbers like 12 is the number of uh disciples that jesus had so it has a lot of meaning in christianity 13 is considered an unlucky number in uh, western cultures but not in other cultures and there's a lot of other interesting numbers that i think are cool like uh 42 is an interesting number uh and that's lp from uh california has it and to get that see you you start seeing here around the 20s and 30s the the dollar amounts to get a specific number are very close so like if you were targeting a specific number beyond the top 10, it would be very hard to invest the amount to guarantee you that number. And that I think is an opportunity for Aptera. And what I think they should do is have a feature that like if you invest an extra like $5,000, you can request a certain number until someone goes above your number. Like for example, let's say that uh, LP wants to stay at 42. And so he invests another $5,000. Um, and so if someone were to bid beyond that, like uh, he, if he bid over $5,000, he, he would move up here, but he's, he wants to stay at 42 because obviously 42 is the meaning of everything. And so that he wants 42. So if he wanted that, he could pay extra money. And then if someone were to surpass him by putting more money than that, then um, he would have the option to bid up that number to stay at that number. I don't know if I'm making sense, but basically it's a way of guaranteeing you a number by giving you the option to invest more to stay at that number, if you like. So there's 42. There's also some perfect numbers, which are 6, 28, and 496. These are considered perfect numbers because if you if you add up their factors other than itself, they add they become the number that you started with. Um, so if anyone wanted some perfect number, so 28, currently JT has it. And then there's 42. Of course, let's see, 69 is a popular number for various reasons. MK from Can uh, California has it. And see, he could easily be moved off of that if, or she could be moved off of that if they, but if they wanted to keep that, you could invest like 5,000 extra dollars to request that number. And then if, if you were moved off that number because someone invested more, you would have the option to, to add another $5,000 to stay at that number. Um, there's other cool numbers. So 73, if you're a Big Bang Theory um, fan, this was Sheldon's favorite number. It's his, it's, he's, he claimed it was the best number because the best number is 73. Why? 73 is the 21st prime number 
its mirror, 37, is the 12th prime number, and its mirror, 21, is the product of multiplying 7 and 3. And also, 73 in binary is 1001001, which backwards is also the same, and so therefore, it's 73 uh, backwards and forwards in binary. 92 is the uh, number of natural elements on the periodic table, and it turns out to be uranium. And also, if you like, if you liked a certain element, you could target that number. Um, 420. Uh, the and I we, I found out like why 420 is associated with marijuana. It starts with uh, these high school students in Marion County, California. They would meet at 4:20 p.m., and then one of these guys uh, became a roadie for um, the Grateful Dead. And that's how it became um, that's how it became popularized for 420. And then if you're a Marvel fan, Earth 616 is 616 is the universe where all the Mar the, the main Marvel timeline happens. And there is 666. Now who has that? Uh, let's scroll down. I think someone in one of one of our uh, viewers has six one six six six, and he was mentioning it. I don't know if they still have it, but it's uh, currently it's W G from Texas, and and see, you if you wanted to stay at that number, you're going to be moved off of it if someone just invests a little bit more or less than you, um, and of course that comes from Revelations chapter thirteen which talks about this beast with 10 horns and seven heads rising out of the sea. And it goes and talks about the beast. And now in chap in verse 18, it says, This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and his number is 666. And then there is 777, which is considered sometimes considered God's number, because it's seven is a, a very um, important number in, in the Bible. Uh, there's seven days in the week, and and then three is a trinity, so 777 is considered um, a perfect number uh, in by many Christians. And then 786 in Islam denotes this. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but it's the opening phrase of the Quran, and it's translate in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most benef beneficent or compassionate. Um, and then there is this thing called the golden ratio and the golden ratio is found in nature, uh, many times and it's defined as this and it approximate to 1.618. So 1618. And I don't think we've gotten to 1618 yet. Yeah. We're not even there yet. I think the last, yeah. So the last, uh, slot is 1313, but basically if you wanted to target any of these numbers, it's going to be very hard for you to target a number. And there's other other numbers that are probably interesting to people. Like uh, it's it's going to be 4th of July soon. Uh, so 1776 is an important number for a lot of Americans. Um, this is in 1839. Edmund Becquerel in, noticed the photovoltaic effect. And so that's kind of where solar energy started. Um, so that was in 1839. And then in 1905, this guy, Albert Einstein, wrote the paper that um, defined the photovoltaic effect and produced a theory on how it worked, which turned out to be true. And in 1921, uh, he won the Nobel Prize for that. And then in 1982, Hans Tholstrup, uh and I think there was another guy, Larry Perkins. Yeah, uh, they built and raced this, the Quiet Achiever from Perth to Sydney, uh, 4,000 kilometers across Australia. And this is what started the World Solar Challenge. And uh, that's going to happen this year in October. And of course, I'll be following that. And I'm sure many of you guys are interested in this. This is where a lot of cool stuff comes. Uh, they make a bunch of solar cars in different classes. And we'll definitely be following that when it happens in October. 1996 is when the EV1, which is the first mass market electric vehicle from GM, was made in the modern era. And then, and then lastly, 
1999 is the largest prime number in this set of up to 2000. So there's lots of interest. And then people might want to get the date of their birth or something like 1960 something or 1970 something or 1950 something. Um, so they may want to get the year of their birth as that. And those are like numbers that I think some people would be targeting and they might want to invest a little extra money to guarantee that they get that number. So I think they should do it. I think they should make a, um, a system by which someone can specifically request a number and pay a little extra to hold that number. And I think that would be a fun way for uh, people to get the number that they want and kind of guarantee that and for Aptera to get a little extra money. All right, well, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I mean, would you pay a little extra to get a specific number? Because um, I think, you know, from about 900 on, it's all basically $10,000. So you really, you're just, you, you, can't, you can't target a number from about 900 on. But there are many numbers which are interesting, which I think people would want to target and would be willing to pay a little extra for. So tell me what you guys think about the idea. Would you pay extra uh, to get a specific number? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.